Love your family, work super hard, live your passion. It took 38 years before 50 million people gained access to radios. It took television 13 years to earn an audience that size. It took Instagram a year and a half. Life shrinks and expands on the proportion of your willingness to take risks and try new things. I put zero weight into anyone's opinion about me because I know exactly who I am. Can you say the same? Even if your ambitions are huge, start slow, start small, build gradually, build smart. Being cool has nothing to do with age, it has to do with how solid your identity is. There no longer has to be a difference between who you are and what you do. Stop focusing on dumb shit. Don't be afraid to break things. Don't be romantic. Don't take the time to breathe. Don't aim for perfect. And whatever you do, keep moving. Reread this a few times. Passion is an unmatched fuel. Add being happy to that and you have a wonderful formula for good health. Developing your personal brand is the same thing as living and breathing your resume. Your number one job is to tell your story to the consumer wherever they are, and preferably at the moment they are deciding to make a purchase. Skills are cheap, passion is priceless. You just have to make the choice to actually do it. I am so tired of excuses. Why not try something new? Be optimistic, exhibit patience, shut your mouth, and execute. Before you invest in yourself, you have to invest in your long-term future. We love displays and symbols and stuff that quickly and silently tells the world who we are. Better yet, we love visual reminders of who we want to be. Developing your personal brand is key to monetizing your passion online. Wake up before everybody else and work into the night. Hustle. There's no such thing as perfect. Chasing perfect is the shortest road to not achieving it. Too many people are scared to share their visions and thoughts in public or even in boardrooms. Having a strong vision is important for your personal brand. Don't be afraid to say what you think. Ever. That said, don't forget to listen, either. Building and sustaining community is a never-ending part of doing business. Make it simple. Make it memorable. Make it inviting to look at. Make it fun to read. Always put your money back into your business. Put out quality content every day and engage around it. Ideas are worthless without the execution, execution is pointless without the ideas. When it comes to professional opportunities, this is the best time to be alive in the history of humankind. Bet on your strengths. It's an underrated business strategy in a world where so many people are obsessed with fixing their weaknesses they give short shrift to the skills they were born with. Because when it comes down to it, the only thing that will never change is human nature. When given the choice, people will always spend their time around people they like. If you're not 100% happy with your life today, it is never a waste of time to try something that could get you there. Don't ever let your circumstances determine your outcome. You are bigger and better than that. You can always control your own destiny. Use what you've got, find what you don't, and make your dreams come true. When you're hustling, hustle with all you've got. When you're sick, stop. Let it happen. Your body is trying to tell you something. Listen to it. Share three characteristics, a commitment to service a desire to provide value a love of teaching. If you religiously follow just the few core business philosophies that mean the most to you, and spend all your time there, everything else will naturally fall into place. I failed all my classes and that's why I'm winning.
In hindsight, the fact that I was considered a failure for the first 18 years of my life has become the foundation of my success. It's extremely hard to create a trending hashtag and bring people to you. It's far better to listen, find out what's trending, and bring yourself to the people. The incredible brand awareness and bottom line profits achievable through social media marketing require hustle, heart, sincerity, constant engagement, long-term commitment, and most of all, artful and strategic storytelling. The biggest mistake I see influencers make is, they'll work with every brand on the planet. It's all about how many brands can they work with, not about the audience, not about the readership. I see no longevity there. I'm more focused on building my own brand than other people's brands. How we cultivate our relationships is often the greatest determinant of the type of life we get to live. Business is no different. A strategy of caring usually outshines tactics, but when they're used with the right intent, tactics can help a brand achieve greatness. The main thing is realizing that even if you feel terrible for a while, that's not how you're going to feel the whole time. Things change if you just keep moving. What worked for me won't work for you, however, and vice versa. That's why self-awareness is so vital, you have to be true to yourself at all times. Every interaction matters. Every relationship has value. This business has to be your entire life, or it will die. No matter who you are or what kind of company or organization you work for, your number one job is to tell your story to the consumer wherever they are, and preferably at the moment they are deciding to make a purchase. Vagueness sucks. Lack of drive sucks. Half-assing things sucks. And so does the middle. You may not have connections, or an education, or wealth, but with enough passion and sweat, you can make anything happen. As long as you're working for someone else you will never be living entirely true to yourself and your passion. Good creatives love their art, but great creatives who work in business love to use their art to sell.